one, we're live. We're live, live-ish, live-ish from Sprague Land. This is a night of Stevie Wonder music. Let's take off. Two, three, four. <laughs> Together, it's you and I. God has made us fall in love, it's true. I've really found someone like you. Yes. Yay. Wow. Well, listen, thank you so much, folks. Welcome, welcome to hang with us here at Sprigland, episode seven, The Music of Stevie Wonder. Thanks for being with me. Let me tell you, uh, I'm going to check just with my wife, Steph, to about the sound. Steph, what do you say? Getting good report here from everybody. Yep. Great sound, good balance. So... That's good. Audio was perfect. <laughs> so Nice. That means that we can just sit back and go for the ride. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Steph. Let me tell you who's playing in the band. You heard Leonard Patton singing on the first verse and chorus there. Leonard Patton. Yay. 
Clap, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we need that. And then we have Rebecca Jade. She sang the second chorus and the second yeah. chorus. Beautiful. Upstairs, we've got my brother Tripp. Now, this is a first him playing the keyboard as well as the sax and flute. So how about a hand for Tripp Sprague? Yeah. Now, this is a first concert where we have actually, instead of five, there's five different rooms here. Now, we've added a sixth person. So Mac, on bass, is playing on the upstairs porch. Yay. Mac, can you see him? Are they getting to see him? <laughs> He's got a tree as a backdrop. He's got the supreme spot. Mac, what do you think? Is it good? Oh, yeah, it's the best seat in the house. <laughs> And on drums, Duncan Moore on drums. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. My name is Peter Sprague, and that first song was by Stevie Wonder. It's called You and I. All of the music tonight is set in the key of wonder. Uh, it's a blend of jazz harmony with pop and R&B sensibilities, and it captures our fancy. We've all been big fans of Stevie for years. Plus, it comes packaged with a groove that is irresistible. Stevie Wonder. Um, Leonard, if you had to, could you name your favorite Stevie tune? Come on. I know. Well, it's, seriously. I know. Why? <laughs> come on. Why would you ask that kind of question? I mean. Well, here's the thing. Stephanie asked me that the other day, and I thought about it. And, and do you have the same reaction? You can't. You can't, and it, it it depends on what you're feeling too, because he's got he's got some of the best best ballads, something yes. like um, "Lately." I oh. mean, that's what a yes. beautiful, heart wrenching song. And then he's got some of the most grooving, upbeat songs. And then he's got songs that are so new, unique that sound like nothing else. Things like "Too High" and mm. "Don't mm. You Worry About a Thing." Things that like. Man, like mm. nothing sounds like this. Yeah. He's, he's so, pretty incredible. Okay, so if, if, if you were on a desert island and had only one song to live, what would you do? You could, choices are you could pick a song or you could kill yourself. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, hey it, it, as hard as it is, I mean, I, I could pretty much pick anything. I would probably pick either something from Inner Visions. Um, so you're narrowing it down or, by album. Or, or Songs in the Key of Life. Yeah. So There's 25 songs on that. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> I, just made it, I, just, I just made it hard. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay, anyway, <laughs> it, was, it was a question that I couldn't yeah. answer, and I, I figured you wouldn't. I'll get um, back to you. <laughs> in the wake of the death of George Floyd, protests of, for racial equality have been present all across our nation and the world. We would like to show our support for this cause by honoring the many musicians of color that have given us the birth roots of jazz and so much more. Tonight, we are donating half of the concert's proceeds to the Black Lives Matter organization. And as the late and great, and by the way, most of us have Black Lives shirts on, and Leonard has one by John Lewis, and we've got uh, a quote from him. and and as of the, the late and great congressman and civil rights activist John Lewis once said, the reward for playing jazz is playing jazz. <laughs> That's profound, right? Yeah. All right, so next one up, we're gonna do a song by Stevie, of course, and this is one called Do I Do? And I don't even know what this song is about, but it feels so good to play. Duncan, once you start the groove, and Leonard's got a little taste that he's gonna add in. Do I do? Do I do? What you do? What you do? What you do? When I do when my I love, love to you. Yeah. <laughs> do I do? Do I do? What you do? What you do? When I do when my I love, love to you. You guys can join in out there. Do, do I, I do? Do I do? What you do? What you do? When I do when my I love, love to you. you. One more time. Hit. <laughs> when I do, <laughs> I do? <laughs> what you do, what, what you do, do? Here we when go. I do, my love, love to you. you. All right. Street, my whole body gets weak. 
Duncan's got it, man. By himself, man.
<laughs> it's been stupid good. <laughs> oh my gosh. That vamp at the end. That's what man. I'm talking about. So great. Well, thank you. That was Do I Do, Rebecca Jade, the one and only, the, the award winner. No, we didn't say this. Artist like, of the year, y'all. Artist, Artist of, of the, the year. year. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a big deal, man. Thank they could have you. picked a zillion people, but they picked you because you're just something else. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Um, all right, let's keep, let's keep it moving. We got to cool it out for a second. That was hard hitting. <laughs> so we're doing a piece um, that Stevie wrote called Love is in, Love's in Need of Love today. And that this is going to feature Leonard, and it's also going to blend into a song called Gotta Have You. And Gotta Have You was um, from an album that Stevie did called Jungle Fever. Anyone know that record? Mm -hmm. There's some great songs on that. Jungle fever. Oh, <laughs> jungle fever. Keep it. Keep going. A little more of that. We're in love. We ain't gonna run no crazy. She ain't gonna run more hazy. We're not thinking, baby. We're in love. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, has anyone ever heard Stevie live in concert? Oh, yeah, I did. Where did you, Trip? It was at the uh, Staples Center. In L.A.? The sound was awful. Oh, no. It was great. I saw him in Vegas doing the uh, Songs in the Key of Life tour a few years ago. Yeah. That yeah was, that's right. It was Mac, wicked. You, it was so good. Didn't you go with, uh, who did you go with? I went with uh, with Ed and Ed Kornhauser and Matt Smith. We yeah. drove up there. Yeah, I remember hearing nice. about that. I remember he took he took a thousand choruses of a harmonica solo on Isn't She Lovely. <laughs> Just like, I thought he was wrapping it up three times before he finished it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that guy. <laughs> Leonard, have you ever seen him live? No. I, I, it's either, I've either tried to buy tickets and it sold out. Like one time, this was like 10, 12 years ago or something, the tickets went on sale online and sold out within two hours. Yeah. And then there was a couple times I, I couldn't. And then I wanted to go to that Vegas thing, and I realized I had booked a gig way <laughs> months in advance. I'm like, oh man, uh, I can't get out of this gig. <laughs> well, it's it's funny because I I have heard him once. I put on the wrong guitar, so I'm getting the other guitar. <laughs> I heard him once, and it was it was an amazing thing. I was in L.A. and I, I wasn't even playing. I knew he was playing up there. I was hanging out with my friend John Lovewich, and we said, man, Stevie's playing. Let's just go down there. And it was like at that like near the Staples Center in L.A. Yeah. Um, and we went down there, no tickets in hand. We ended up scoring tickets, good tickets, and and we got we got you know just everything you know. Usually everything doesn't work, but everything worked on that particular time, and it was a mind blowing concert, just the best music. So we are. Ha I'm happy that I've seen him, and maybe maybe there'll be other another chance. Maybe he'll come to San Diego and play maybe us. He's listening tonight. Maybe he's listening tonight. Maybe he'll do a live stream from Sprague Land. Maybe he'll just, you know how like every once in a while he'll show up in a club or something right. randomly like in, and just start playing? He might show up to your house right now and just walk in and go to that keyboard trip and just start playing with us. Giant steps. Right. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep it moving, huh? Let's, here, here's a, a, a kind of a medley, two tunes blending, blending into one. Loves and need to love today and gotta have you. Love's in me of love today. Don't delay, send yours in right away. Oh, oh, oh. hate's gone round, breaking many hearts. Stop.
When I was, I, when I was doing that arrangement, I just I've been watching a bunch of um, Jacob Kathy. Collier, and mm. and 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 I and well, just th those all that stuff. Yeah. That I thought, well, yeah, okay. I mean, I heard it, but but uh, yeah, well, it's that, now we got to start doing like some <laughs> quarter tones. Here. Gotta be, gotta be. Right. Yeah, we just gotta start. Take it up a notch, you know. <laughs> oh, I love it. Good job, you guys. There, that, that 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 interlude at the end is a is the torture chamber, but we we plowed through. We love it. You are in the pit of despair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me mention that we we play and tonight half of the proceeds are going to the Black Lives Matter movement, and we play for virtual. We play for the love of music. I always say. I think if money wasn't even a, well, money's barely an issue. So. So it's, we're doing it because we love it. But it's so nice if you guys tip. And the way to tip is there's a, a virtual tip jar, either Venmo, four ways, Venmo, PayPal, Zelle. These are all computer-driven payment plans that probably the money ends up somewhere else. But no, it actually, it acts, I think it makes it to us mostly. <laughs> and then, then the good old-fashioned sna snail mail works too. So thanks for your tips. You guys have been generous. We're not um, buying cars yet. Uh, <laughs> Rebecca, I always uh -huh. ask you, did you buy the island off of Florida yet? Yeah, yeah, and then, and then the one next to that too. <laughs> You know, a couple, couple islands. I just know? sold it to her because I was like, I'm done. <laughs> okay. You know, yeah. So yeah. thank you for that. And, and at the end of the concert, that, that information will be held up so you can jot it down and partake if you feel like that. Now, in earlier um, episodes of our show, Live at, Live -ish at Sprayland, whenever we get a new musician that hasn't played here before, we like to do a little bit of history on that musician and, and show some pictures of when they were kids and how they asked how they started to do music. And so tonight our guest is Stevie Wonder. So my wife, <laughs> my beautiful wife Stephanie has, um, has a little story, a little background, backstory on Stevie. So I'm gonna turn it over to her. She's, by the way, I'm in the control room and over further in the control room is Steve. And he's Steve Grant and he's working the, the video switching. And then Stephanie, my wife, she manages the uh, chat. We call her the chat meister and also She's going to 
she's got some words to share. So here's my here's Stephanie. First, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in. We almost have 200. What? Yes, so that's, that's fan, really cool. That's just crazy. All from Hawaii, East Coast, Midwest, some family members. Hi, Kylie. Aww. Yeah, Deidre Terry. It's that's super cool. Neat. Yeah. So uh, Stevie Wonder, he uh, turned 70 this year. Grew up in Detroit, and his first recording when he was 12. And he won a Grammy for the best album of the year and was the first black person to do so. And this was in 1973. Mm -hmm. I'm really obviously moved by his music. I would say almost everybody is, if not everybody. But I'm also moved by his activism and generous humanitarian work. The list goes on and on. When I Googled it, I'm like swiping my finger, page, next page, next page. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, one highlight for me was his appointment as a United Nation messenger of peace, focusing on uplifting the lives of people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. And here he is in 2009 accepting this from the UN Secretary General. Very inspirational person, to say the least. Yes. Neat. Thank you, Steph. You're welcome. And then for guys in the band, um, they were sharing pictures of Stevie in various times of his life. So that's cool. Um, the, the one big album of Steve's, one, maybe one of the biggest, I don't know how you measure bigness, but maybe it, it was a big album, was a double album. We mentioned it earlier, it's Songs in the Key of Life, and a, a bunch of the songs that we're playing tonight were from that record, the song we're, we play, we're going to play, let's see, have we played any of them yet? Do I do? No, that wasn't on there. Love's in Need of Love Today, that was on there. Am I right, Leonard? Leonard knows a lot about Stevie Wonder. Do I do? Well, no, Love's in Need of Love oh, Today. Lo Love's in Need of Love Today, yes. Yeah, and this yes. next one that features Rebecca is our version of Knocks Me Off the Feet, Off My Feet. Now that was on there too, correct? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So Rebecca, you good? I'm good.
Rebecca. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm going to switch guitars. The next one we're going to do is a Stevie tune, but we're going to prelude it with a John Coltrane song. And the reason uh, we're, we're, we're putting a Coltrane song in front is because it's in the same key as where we need to be. And also, we I just love the feeling. This is like a, a feeling of free form uh, melody. It's called Wise One by John Coltrane. And it leads into Stevie's song called As. This features Leonard.
But in passing we'll grow older every day Just as all is born is new Do you know what I say is true That I'll be loving you always Until the rainbow burns the stars out in the sky Always until the ocean covers every mountain high Always until the dolphin flies and parrots live at sea Always until we dream of life and life becomes a dream Did you know that true love asks for nothing? Her acceptance is the way we pay Did you know that life's given love a guarantee? To last through forever another day Just as time to, to move on to some beginning And the seasons know exactly when to change Just as kindness knows no shame Know through all your joy and pain That I'll be loving you always Until the day is night and night becomes a day Always until the trees and seeds just up and
Questions? <laughs> oh, wait, you stole my, that's, that's my line, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold up. So now I got the backstory on that line. <laughs> there we go. Nice, you guys. That's I can hear now. That's nice. Um, now we're going to play, we're going to feature Rebecca. This is a new one. There's, these are some of these songs we've been playing, but um, Gotta Have You, that one that earlier was new for us, and this one. Is called. It may, may may be the way, a contender at least for the longest title known. And that this is the title <laughs> of the song. I believe when I fall in love, it will be forever. Any anyone know a song with a longer title than that? <laughs> Super Califrac. No. <laughs> <laughs> How long is that? Do that. Super One word. Fragilistic expialidocious. <laughs> Super kind of it will be forever. It's, it's still more syllables. This one. This yeah. one. I think this one still wins. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we going to call it when we play it? Are we going to just say, let's play I B W I F I I N? Love it. All right. So this one features Rebecca, and let's see. This tempo is. That's where the tempo is. Duncan's got a metronome. Yeah, we're ready.
touching hearts and feed our empty souls. Thank you. Um, 
We have time for one more, folks. And we, we like ending up celebrating Duke Ellington on this piece. Yeah. This is a piece, and, and um, Duke Ellington, one of the great composers who played kind of outside, too. He was, he got some, he wrote some great tunes. Um, he wrote a song called Take the A Train, and um, one thing that we jazz guys do, and I, Matt, correct me if, my, if I'm wrong, but counterfact, is that contrafact? Yeah, contrafact. Contrafact. It's basically taking the chord changes, chord structure from a, a, a given song and then writing your own melody to it. And so I took Duke Ellington's Take the A Train, and then what did I do? I, I called it A to Z, like A to the Z train, and then, and then I, um, I was telling a friend of mine, John Offercook, let's let's play to A, let, let's play A to Z, and he said A to Z, and I thought that's a better name for it than A to Z. So the reason we play this and mix it up with Sir Duke is because they're both sort of related in key center, and they're also related in terms of Duke, a nod to our cap to Duke Ellington. What's that? Sir Duke mentioned. I just wanted to thank everybody again for uh, tuning in. And yes, lots of people from actually all over the country mm -hmm. and lots of great musicians, Deborah Johnson, Allison, Tucker, Carly Demento, Peggy Watson, Mark Lessman, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, Robert Bush. He's <laughs> got to be a musician. He's an incredible writer for the reader and we always appreciate and all these comments people I've said this before but the musicians go back and listen and they look at them so thank you so much yes for that yes thank you Steph. okay thank you okay so here it is sir Duke uh, by and what were you saying tripper some about no nothing <laughs> <laughs> I was like I was gonna mention that oh but sir Duke mentions Duke well dude it's in the title yeah <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's well, who else is it mentioned Ella, it mentions Ella, Basie, yeah, Miller, Ben yeah. Miller, yeah. So he just Stevie knew. Yep, he know. He's 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 learned it. He's he's learned it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Duncan, what what's the tempo, my man? Yeah. <laughs>
ask you this How, did anyone burn up tonight no. we had the air on folks yeah. the air was on. it's really yeah. nice it's like <laughs> <laughs> all right well that's the show for tonight let me tell you once again who's playing with us it's uh upstairs directly up above me is my brother trip playing keyboards Yay. saxophone and flute Yay. trip and the keyboards is a big deal to be able to hang with us doing keyboards 
Oh, you did great. <laughs> and then right west of him on the outside deck is Mac. What is it looking like now, Mac? The bugs, Mac? <laughs> no comment. It looks no, it looks good. Sorry, I had to grab the mic. Yeah, no no bugs. There was one one bug did a little kamikaze mission on one of these lamps here, but other than that I've been good. It's it's nice out here. Good, man. Max outside. Uh over in the far room over there is Duncan Moore playing the drums. Duncan Moore. Beautiful. Um further to the east of Duncan is um Leonard Patton. He's in the the small room, Leonard Patton on vocals. And Vocals and good vibe, and then, of course, Rebecca Jade, the one and only Rebecca Jade on vocals. And then Stephanie Flory, my wife, Stephanie Flory Sprague. She gets yeah. double names. <laughs> and, uh, and Steve Grant doing uh, str uh, switching and doing a great job. Yes, Steve, really great. Yeah. So that's the show for tonight. We're going to take a week off next week. I mean, we're going to get a little vacation, and then coming up is a gal named Lisa Hightower, yes. a beautiful singer. We're going to do a gig with her here, live-ish from Sprague-land. And once again, uh, the tip jar is floating around uh, off in Nirvana and could use a little help. But it could, and, and again, Black Lives Matter, we're going to throw some money their way for, being, for, for the good work that they're doing. All right, so thank you so much for being with us. Till the next time, keep the sky in your head.